coming to you from the Brunswick Zone. It's a Thanksgiving special. There's going to be absolutely no turkey, but plenty of crow as we are about to watch me suck at bowling. We are here for a special presentation of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. We are here in Lowell, Massachusetts at the Brunswick Zone. That's right. We are going to try what we here in New England call regular bowling because we are inundated with candle pin. This is the regular stuff, or as people from around the world would consider the candle pin being weird, we consider this being weird. And this is the building, looks different than what it did on Google. So I've also heard there's a lot of copyright stuff going on inside there, mostly music and video. So most of the audio is probably gonna get stripped. While we're at it, I'm gonna also say I've never done regular bowling before. And I've got some help from people that do it, such as how to aim the ball, where to aim, and for those that start, should probably be using a 13 pounder, which is midway between the light eight and the heavy 16. So let's go in and try something new and most likely suck very bad at it. Oh my, were they right about copyright issues, blaring music, tons of sports, and 44 alleys and we got a bar over there we do have a pro shop and an arcade over there the uh restroom facilities there lockers far to the right and here are the alleys which i don't really care much about this glowing crap but whatever there's our aisle number nine or lane whichever you want to call it and i was looking for a ball and the best i could find is this here 14 pounder and it also had holes big enough for my sausage link fingers, as you can see here. Double XL, because my fingers are fat. Here we go, frame one, ball one. And let's see how things go. Next time I'll remember to bring the tripod. Obviously, can only do this with both hands. I need them both and hey. Well, surprising start, actually. And there's the A2 in action. Final ball. Please note, I will leave the camera alone. It's just the first several times I actually picked it up when I released the ball. It's really hard to do this when I'm going by no audio whatsoever. Anyway, there the ball went. And we got a spare. Not a bad start. Second frame, ball one. Yes, my camera has a floating optic block and it has difficulty finding where the center is. So the position and size changes. Anyway, and normal C begins. Isn't that wonderful? Ball two. You can tell when the ball is released because the camera shakes like that. And there it goes. And not a bad recovery from that first ball. After the first couple frames, a 19. Not bad for a beginner. At least that's what I think. Frame three, ball one. That red light has caused issues as I kept thinking I started the recording and didn't, so there's gonna be stuff you're gonna miss. Anyway, here we go. Looks good and not bad. Ball two. And here it comes when the camera moves. And there it is, and gutter. Still dialing in the process. It's still a little new to me. Frame four, ball one. Wonder what we're gonna do now. And there goes the ball into the gutter. Good start, huh? Ball two. Hopefully we'll get something this time. And there it goes. And it appears we got a spare out of all that. Progress seems to be all over the place here. We do great one minute and suck the next. 
Let's see what happens next. I told you those red lights will give me trouble. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. Anyway, unlike the strike at Mason's, this time you missed out on a total goose egg. Zero. Sixth frame and I forgot to start it on the first ball. As you can see, there's nine down. Second ball, I told you those red lights will confuse me and I would get that confused with the record light. So you missed that, but at least you see the one pin standing there. So let's see if we can get it. Although I highly doubt I will. There's the ball and well, pretty much predictable right there. Back to the scoreboard, we had another nine points and yet again another gutter ball. Lots of zeros on the board, aren't there? Frame seven, ball one. This has been quite an adventure. Ups and downs, peaks and valleys, success and failure, ball heading towards the pins, and knocked down quite a few. Ball number two. And here it comes. As soon as the camera moves like that, and we're actually going to hit them, or at least one. Frame eight, ball one. Yeah, not bad for a very first game ever of regular bowling. And the release should be coming soon. In fact, there it is. There goes the ball. And we have a strike of all things. Who would have thought I'd get one of them? What a nice way to end frame eight with a strike. Kind of offsets frame seven. How will we fill that strike? Look who's trying. I tell you those red lights cause problems. You missed the first ball of frame number nine, but you can see what pins are remaining. And as you can see here, I'm struggling with the camera because as I mentioned, it has a floating block optics system for image stabilization and where it considers center varies, which is why you see them bigger at some times, smaller at other times. So now I'm getting ready to shoot the second ball. Here it comes and we will get the spare. Frame 10, ball one. The first official game of regular bowling I've ever done. And here comes the ball. That was your cue. And there's the shake to tell us that it's going to hit that one pin. It's almost like candle pin now. Final throw of the first game ever. And yes, as I mentioned before, I'm going to leave the camera alone at some point. I just didn't think of it when I started. There's the ball. And it hits more pins. Thus ends my first ever game of regular bowling with a total of 91. Considering all the zeros, not all that bad. I don't quite like the way the ending goes on this scoreboard. Let's start the second game. Frame one, ball one. 91's a promising start. So let's see what this brings us. And there's the first throw. And yeah, six ain't bad. Second ball. Four in the middle. Doesn't seem to be too challenging. So let's see how many we get down. There's the throw and into the gutter. Now it's starting to look like a normal game. Frame two, ball one. Can we do any better than that? Let's find out. There's the ball and still picking up the camera and ew, yuck. Ball two, mini split there. We know that's not gonna end well. So here comes the ball and through the hoop. And it's starting to look like a normal game of bowling that I would have. Six in the first frame and eight with a second total of 14. Third frame, ball one. Let's see what happens this time. And there's the throw and the pin. 
Second ball. Notice that I start to leave the camera alone now. I don't pick it up when I think the thing is going to hit any pins. So the release comes. There it is. And we're going to hit some more. Um, yeah. Fourth frame, ball one. Things have got to get better than this. It's starting to look like a candle pin game now. And there's the first throw. And got something at least. Ball two. Yes, things have turned to crap. So here comes the next ball. And there it is. And we get... Hey, nine. Eight. Okay, eight. After four frames, it's screaming candle pin. 27 points. Yeah, not that good. Frame five, ball one. Will the bad luck continue, or as I call it, the normal run? There's the first throw. Here it comes. And half of them. Ball two. Let's see if we can get the other half of the pins now. And here comes the ball. Hard to do, there it is, hard to do with no audio. And whiff. Frame six, ball one. Will the bad luck continue? Here comes the first ball and it does continue. Ball number two, can we hit anything with it? Here it comes. Looks like we will. Eight. Wow. I do even better than this in candle pin. Frame seven, ball one. Number seven, maybe that'll bring us luck. Anyway, here comes the first ball. And it's looking pretty good. And then it happened. Hey, seven. Ball number two. Frame seven. Seven pins. Two sevens. That's going to be lucky. And here comes the ball. Another one. Frame eight. Ball one. Eight pins last one. Frame eight now. Maybe the two eights will bring luck as the ball comes down and into the gutter. Good job. Ball number two. Can we get any of them? Here it comes and it's something. As we continue our candle pin adventure, wait, oh, this isn't candle pin. Wow. Score looks like it. Wow, this really sucks. Frame nine, ball one. And yes, by looking at the pins, I can tell this is not candle pin. But the score sure matches that though. Here comes the first ball and just like the last one in the gutter. Ball two. Let's try and hit something this time. And here it comes. And the pin. Frame 10, ball one. Let's get this disaster of a game over with, shall we? There's the first throw, and it's oh, more than the pin. A few of them. Final ball for this train wreck of a game. And there it goes. There. And ends with a whimper. One thing I hate about this system, it clears the 10th frame before you get a chance to see it. I'm looking at totals and averages. I don't care about that. I want to see what I got in the last game. After playing with the menus, I got a total, but not the whole 10 frames showing. 59. Yay, wasn't that great? Game number three, ball one. We are doing four games. I don't think I mentioned that. So I did. And now for the first throw. And there it goes. And uh-oh. Looks like we got a candle pin situation here. Ball two. None of those pins count because the ball went in the gutter. Best we can do is five. Just like candle pin. Things like that can happen, apparently. 
So, next ball, let's see if we can get anything out of it. There it is. And we get four. Frame two, ball one. After turning one of the two image stabilizers off, it looks like we're getting more consistent image. And here comes the first ball. And eight. Ball number two. I wouldn't put any money on picking up a spare with this one. But you never know as the ball comes and hits the gutter. So, yeah. There we go. I'm actually getting worse. I can't believe I do better in candle pin than regular bowling. Frame three, ball one, and I keep getting worse. Am I not going to be able to play this game? Let's try anyhow. Here we go. And... Yuck. Ball number two. Looks a little challenging there. Here it comes, and... Hey, not bad. Frame four, ball one. It just seems to be going nowhere fast. So here comes the first ball. Looking pretty good, actually, then it goes far over. Ball number two. Things are still not really going too well. That was a big hit on the camera, and yeah. As a bonus for those of you that like pin setters, here's the A2 in action. Was the 91 I started with a total fluke, and this is how I'm really going to be playing? This is just horrible. Damn, my candle pin scores are way better. Frame 5, ball 1, getting dejected as I play along here. And let's see what happens on the first ball. There it comes, and... Yep. Ball 2. We got a lot on the table there. And here comes the ball. Big move on the camera, and... It's a spare! Finally! There's the spare. Now, can we get a fill other than a zero? Let's find out. Frame six, ball one. Let's see if we can get something other than a zero for a fill. And here comes that ball. And hopefully it's good. And... Eh, it's something. Ball number two. And here she comes gutter. At least the zero wasn't the fill this time. The spare and the fill is helping a little bit, but it's still rather pathetic. Let's keep going. Frame seven, ball one. Let's see what happens this time. Is luck turning around? Here comes the first ball and nice hit and seven. Ball number two. Can we improve on this? Here it comes, and no, we won't. Frame eight, ball one. Needs more luck than we're getting now. And here comes the first ball, and it's a way right. Not bad considering where it landed. Ball two, four of them close together. Can we get something? Here it comes. And we got two of them. We're still not doing all that great, but we are making a slight comeback. And the spare in frame five definitely helped. Frame nine, ball one. We really need to pull it out if we're going to match the 90 that we got in the first game. Here comes the first ball. And we got seven. Ball two. We definitely need a spare to make it happen, and we get it. Tenth frame never recorded. I got a nine on the first throw and gutter ball on the second, which gives us a grand total of 86. Nine for a fill. Final game number four, ball one. Looks like we were starting to gain momentum, 
And there's the first ball. Will we keep it up? Nice. Ball number two. Can we actually hit that? The answer is, well, here it comes. And the answer would be no. Hey, but nine's not a bad start. Frame two, ball one. It does look like we got our game going. And here comes the first ball and looks good. Then that happens. Ball two. If we are truly getting our game back and there it is and looks good, it's a spare. Apparently we got our groove back. Not that it's saying much. We got a nine in frame one and a spare on two. Let's fill that spare. Can we do even better? Frame three, ball one. We're pretty hot right now. Can we make this fill count? Here it comes and... Eight, that's a pretty good fill. Ball two, have not had much luck with the second ball. Here we go. Actually looks pretty good. Another spare. Interesting. Going pretty well right now, but will we be able to keep up this momentum? Hopefully so. Frame four, ball one. Yet again, filling in another fill. What will we get? Here comes the ball. Little too far over. Hey, it's something. Ball two. I'm writing off the pin on the very right because I can't hook like that. Although this time I apparently did. Who knew? We're losing a little bit of momentum. However, we're still in process of possibly getting more than 100 points. Can we do it? Frame five, ball one. Can we keep up the momentum? Can we get it even better than what we are now? Here comes the first ball. Looks pretty good. Oh, a split. Ball two. Can't seem to hit the broad side of a barn. So let's see how this goes as the ball comes rolling down. I think we know how that went, actually. Sixth frame, and yet again, forgot to hit record. You can see what's left. Four pins. Ball two. Looks like our game's slipping a little bit. Here comes the ball. And, of course, we hit the one. Again, not hitting the cluster, just the singletons. Looks like hope for a 100-point game is not going to happen, the way things are going. We're still there, though. We can probably make it better. Let's hope so. Seventh frame, ball one. We need to do a little bit of recovery, because that 100 points is slipping away. Here comes the first ball, and... Oh, really? Another split? Ball two. I think we are not going to be able to get the ones on the right. Here it comes, and through the hoop. No two points for that. Frame eight, and you can see what ball one gave me. Absolutely nothing. Yet again, forgetting to hit record. Anyway, the ball has returned, and it's time for ball two. Can we hit something? Can we hit anything? Here it comes. Looks all right, and not a bad recovery. We've now lost our chance at 100, unless 9 and 10 comes up with some spares or strikes. The way things are going, who knows? But then again, the bowling gods haven't been too nice. Anyway, here we are, frame 9, ball 1, and we're hoping to really improve things. Here comes the ball. Looks not so bad, and that happens. Ball two, we need to pick those three up for a spare and any chance at 100 points, but throwing balls way to the side is not going to help. To end at 100 points, we need a strike or a spare with a perfect fill. Final frame of the final game, ball one. Let's try and make this one count. Here comes the ball and... Really? 
last ball, and you know how things have been going, so I think that pin's going to be pretty safe. Anyway, here comes the ball and gutter. Told you so. And we end with 93, which isn't bad. I would have liked to have gone into triple digits, but this is my first time ever playing this game. My fourth ever, to be actually accurate about it. And that's this episode of Watch Me Suck at Regular Bowling. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one. These pins look weird.